Cursor AI might have just gotten one of the biggest updates I've seen in a while. With this update, we're going to be able to copy any type of front end, whether it's Stripe, ChatGPT, Claude, bump ups, whatever it may be. I'm going to show you today how we do that. And the AI quite literally takes all the code and you just provide a website link. Artificial intelligence is getting too good. Let's jump in. Welcome back y'all. In this video, we're going to be checking out Cursor AI's browser feature. I was playing around with this a couple hours ago, and I just got to say the amount that Cursor as a platform has improved in the last couple of months is it's beyond me. So the first thing I'm going to do to help you out is I'm going to leave a link to the relevant docs in the description down below. You can click it, check it out, learn more about this feature, but let's do it together. So I'm just going to open up a random project here, which is just an empty folder. The steps and process I'm going to show you, though, will work with any type of tech stack. I typically opt for React apps. What I'm going to do in today's video is simply just get it all printed out into one file and even go as far as rendering it. So first things first, I'm in my nice little project here. I'm going to hit browser and there's going to be cool little features we can do here. But first, let me just show you how we just quite literally steal code. The code is mine and the code we're going to steal today is going to be for bump ups. If you don't know, you know what bump ups is. Don't worry. It's just an AI video model. Provide any video link or local file. It'll be able to analyze it and give you AI outputs. But for now, I'm just going to grab the link. So we're going to go to the pricing page here. This is what we're going to go ahead and just steal all the code. I want this code and watch this by simply enabling this browser feature here. I'm going to say, can you take all the code from this page and put it in a file here? Provide the link, enter. So here is what happens when you put in that simple prompt. So the first thing that will happen when you put in that prompt is that cursor AI is going to open up a new window with that relevant website link. This new window is going to be incognito mode. So let's just say you're signed into your Google account and you don't necessarily want cursor looking at your Gmail. Don't look at my emails cursor. Then don't worry. It's in incognito. So it won't be able to see it. It's going to be able to look at this entire web page here. It's grabbing screenshots, which we've seen in the past. We've seen that in the past, but it's doing all of this just off one prompt. I no longer have to keep proctoring it, telling it, hey, take a screenshot of this. Oh, I want to get this section. I'm going to take a screenshot. Like that's kind of in the past now. It is going the extra thousand steps here and taking all the screenshots we requested from that page. And obviously I could request more if needed. So we can let this just start generating and sit back, maybe drink some coffee. Maybe doom scroll on Sora. You know what? You know what I'm talking about Sora. Have you seen Sora recently? If you haven't seen Sora recently, check it out. Just at Corbin Brown, make a cameo of me. I'll react to it live on stream. So the file is done. Now, yes, this isn't a React tech stack, or maybe this is not specific to your tech stack, whatever it may be. You can obviously tailor your cursor project to be more optimized for whatever tech stack you're building into. The point is though, I simply just said, go to this website, take the code and let's render it. To render, I'm simply gonna say, can we render this code? Is this going to be absolutely perfect on the first shot? No, we haven't gotten to that point yet with artificial intelligence, but we are getting there, y'all. This is leaps and bounds where it used to be a year ago. So for context, this was the original page. And to be honest, if you actually know the amount of time it took me to code this, because Bump Ups is my software. If I recall correctly, this might've been three hours of coding, maybe four hours three to four hours. That prompt was literally one minute and I walked away. Now, yes, right off the bat, you're like, Corbin, the, the color palette's all off. Okay, let's go proctor cursor AI to make it a dark theme. But look at this, y'all. We're too close to the original homepage. You might be saying, Corbin, what is this situation? Why is it like YouTube logo and a weird image situation? Oh, that's just because of the fact that the original webpage itself had images. But as we know of coding, all you would need to do is simply add the images to your directory and then just kind of associate it that way. And check this out with the simple prompt of, make it dark theme we have made the page a dark theme now now obviously if i wanted to match exactly the color tones of bump ups here we would use like one six one six one six or one seven one seven one seven the hex code four colors but y'all see the potential here and y'all see how fast i did this let me know what else you want me to cover with cursor ai but let me show you one other thing that's extremely important like very important and that very important thing is that i'm live streaming on twitch youtube and x description down below go ahead and click it go ahead and give it a follow and your next question might be Corbin, when are you streaming every single day so without further ado as you already know of these videos make sure to leave a like it's completely free i'll see you in the next cursor ai killed front-end engineering jobs